Guys, uh, don't worry about the bandana. I shaved my head before I came out and started running again. And uh, I got sunburned, so I'm wearing that right now <laughs> to get the sun off my head. But I'm going to show you my load right now. Um, I did 10 Malibus here to Nashville, and it is really bright, so I can't see. I got 10, 10 Malibus here to Nashville, and I'm going to walk you through uh, loading 10 real quick. So here's the load right here. As you guys see, normal three on the head rack. That's how I did it this time. I like loading this way better, um, mostly because before when I ran my truck, obviously I had a sleeper. Uh, I didn't have the second deck on the uh, head rack. So I just got used to loading this way. So this time I tried something a little different and I will point it out in a minute because the difference between this trailer and the one I used to run is this deck doesn't shotgun or slide back and forth. So I can't adjust this car after I load it. So this time I loaded this one a little further forward so I had more turning room back here. And I'll show you down here. I pulled this car this time all the way to the end of my, uh, my ramp. Normally, I bring this car in to where, if you look right here, this front bumper is real close to the, uh, to the trailer here. I didn't this time, so I wanted to try moving everything back i will put this one as far back as i could trying to get a little more space and i left this one as high as possible pulling it in so i'm not hanging way off the back like i was on my 11 car load i just wanted to try it because well i mean this is my first high rail trailer so still still learning the little tricks but i will say this car is fine where it's sitting these three coming down to height, nice and This car being a little further forward, again, perfectly fine. But I will say I'll probably move it back. I'll show you where I parked it. Um, normally, I park right, I park back in the middle of this little drop pocket here. But this time, um, I moved a little further forward, just trying to see. And obviously, I mean, everything got here safely. But next time, uh, I'll, I'll just move that back because it really didn't do much of anything for my turning radius. Um, but these two cars here, I do have to change. This one, I moved way too far this way. And this one, having it up and backing it in so far, um, it made it so that my clearances between these three were too tight and these three here were too tight so let me back up uh, the tree's not in the way so we see how close i am with those if i could have slid this one a little further forward i would have been able to bring this down further which would have gotten me a lot more space between these two cars also this one would have come down easier if i wasn't having to worry about the back bumper and the trunk lid hitting on those two so next time when I do this, I'm probably going to turn this one around and pull it on. And I won't bring it in so far. I'll, I'll leave it out because I'm only like maybe two and a half foot off the back of that trailer. And I mean, we're allowed six. So I'll probably extend it out to about three and a half, four foot, which would have made all of this a lot easier to get on. But then again, having to fiddle futz around it took me an hour and 45 minutes to load these 10 normally you can get that down i'd say about an hour and 15 so probably cost me about a half hour it's not atrocious but that is a good amount of time when you're uh when you're loading so but other than that i mean it, it really it rode fine it weighed out fine obviously i mean it's just cars and none of them are loaded they're all uh, rental units so they're all just the base models and uh yeah i mean it it, it ran fine it's just and, and i got everything i had everything right down to i think this is my highest at 13.6 that one's at like 13.4 um 
and the only one part that's 13 6 in this one is there's a little those little antennas they put on the roof of the car and on the top of the car there that's sticking up just a hair so other than that i mean it, it ran fine but uh yeah that that will be my adjustment for my next load like this is to leave this a little further out this one a little further in which would have gotten these right here to all just they this would have come down this way a little bit more and dropped down more left the front up a little higher this one i would have brought down in this area here left the back a little higher i would have been fine but uh yeah that's that's my issue on this one but we learn a little bit every load so guys this is this 10 car load i hope that helped you a little bit um if you have any questions let me know i will do my best to answer in the comments please like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in a little bit okay real quick for this car right here i took all the straps off except for this one tire right here look on the other side straps off over there straps off up here the key with this one is you're gonna need to hop in you don't have to start it but you can hang on let me climb up here Ugh. all right but we got to get this into uh neutral don't put it in drive because it'll drive off the trailer but put it in neutral with the parking brake on it's front wheel drive so put it in neutral all right i got a phone call so we got that one in neutral um i don't know how much of that you saw but we're gonna leave this strap on and we're just gonna grab these two right here for anybody that hasn't done this before and watch the front bumper so we don't drag it on the well you want to watch the front bumper and you want to watch the hood down here to make sure you don't hit into the hood or scrape the front bumper on the bottom of the car and on the bottom of the deck there we raise it up and roll her back in the entire time looking underneath looking over here looking up front which is fine up front now so we're just gonna raise this up a little bit again and driver all the way and i don't know what you guys are just looking at there sorry i'm doing too many things at once not paying attention to the phone i guess it's good because this pays my bills and uh youtube doesn't but uh i was gonna drive this in keep watching under here Wait, under through here make sure we don't hit nothing we're good in the front all the way in we're gonna drop down a hair oh crud i didn't undo those so give me one second here we'll walk over here drop those and then we can finish bringing this in and i'll show you why on this trailer which is some of the newer ones this is a 2016 but uh you want to watch and drop this down so i'm hoping you guys can see this just lower it down a little bit oh, that's close enough because right here there's no longer that big long deck that runs all the way through it stops right here so you want to make sure you're down low enough so you don't drag the back bumper on here when you drive off but that's it for now i'll see you guys in a minute okay so wind that strap all the way in and come to this side i had to use a hand ratchet on this side because this pin down here won't move right now so next time I get into the shop put both those over come back over here and this is and I'll show you why I tried backing it up further than I normally do normally I have to raise this all the way up make sure it's all the way in then when I raise this car up normally right here and the front bumper are really really close when i come down through here so you got to be careful and slow with it but now if you look i got all kinds of room so i guess i learned something new i'll be doing it this way more often but yeah that's what you do 
lower this down to where those are good and then I like to slide this back forward to where they're nice and close this comes from when I used to own my own truck when you don't have big drops in between this stuff you don't bend the metal over time so just something to think about but I'm gonna get this one off now